Okay, I'm going to give you an example on uh, how to do the uh, standard algorithm for the double digit multiplication. And um, so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply uh, the ones position uh, by 20, 27 by the ones position. So first thing I'll do is multiply, uh, I'm going to multiply up and I'm going to multiply 7 times 6. And uh, 7 times 6 is 42. I'm going to put the 4, I'm going to carry the the tens position right there, and I'm gonna bring the one position down here, 42. And I circled my uh, when I, whenever I regroup, I go ahead and circle it. That kind of helps me remember I need to do something with that. Okay. The second step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply uh, the one position on the bottom by the ten position up top, and that's uh, six times two is 12, and we need to add four to that. That would be 16. So now we have a partial product of our multiplication problem of uh, 27 times 42 and 27, um, 27 times 46. And 27 times 6 is actually uh, 162. And one thing I forgot to tell you, though, is after we use the 4 that we regrouped up there, let's go ahead and exit out so we don't get it confused and re, uh, uh, try to reuse it again. A lot of times uh, students tend to forget and they'll reuse numbers again that they don't need to. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply uh, 27 by 40. Uh, and uh, before we do that uh, in the standard algorithm, what we, go, we do is we go ahead and put a zero uh, in the ones place because we're multiplying from the tens place. So uh, I'll give you an example right here. So we're going to multiply 4 times 7. And actually, we're going to be multiplying 40 times 7. And... Uh, 40 times 7 is 280, but instead of writing 280, I'm going to carry my 200, I'm going to circle that, and I'm going to bring my 8 in my 10 position down and put it in the 10 position, so I get 280 right there. The next thing I'm going to do is multiply my 10 position by my 10 position, and uh, 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 2 up here is 10. So 27 times 40 is 1,080. Or you could say 27 times 4 is 108. The next thing I do, uh, the last step, is I go ahead and I add both my partial products together. 2 plus 0 is 2. 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry my 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then 1 plus nothing is 1. So 27 times 46 is 1,242.